John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're taking a first look at the Harmony Silhouette. Now, um, I grew up with Harmony around pawn shops and they were, the Silhouette I think it first came out like around 63. And they had several different models and uh, they ranged in price from 59 for their, you know, plain Jane or one pickup. Uh, to a very kind of tripped out, um, looked like kind of a, a uh, six string bass with a whammy bar and, and I think it was about 149. So they were, but here's the crazy thing. If you adjust it for inflation today, they're similar to the same price. Their top of the line is kind of hovering in, in where this one is, which is I think uh, about 1200, 1200 and change. Uh, but the interesting thing is, growing up, I was not even remotely interested in harmonies because, you know, they, they were just cheap pawn shop guitars and, and uh, they seemed more like toys, you know, than like a legit guitar. But when they reintroduced it, they really made them right. Um, first of all, these mini gold foils sound just, I mean, I think they sound killer, man. Like. <laughs> I mean, that neck is, is very stratty, I think, kind of like a really good strat tone or like a P90, you know, less polish, you know. The, uh, the bridge has that kind of bite to it. Just funky, right? Middle between, you know. So just starting with the pickups, that alone is so cool. Alder body, cool offset design. I don't know, you can see the kind of a Fender influence, but also kind of a, a uh, spaceship influence. You know, it's, it's what I love about guitars in the 60s because there was guitars and cars for that matter because we had our, we were going to the moon and such. They were, you know, they were making things look like spaceships. And I, I love that. Um, nitro finish, which, you know, I, I love nitro. I love the way it wears. I love the way it sounds. And maybe it's all in my head, but I think it sounds different. I don't know. Um, even a nitro on the on the neck, which I really like. What I really like about that is that um, it makes it that much easier to sand the finish off your neck, which is what I would do anyway. Um, but those those poly finishes are tough to get off. But this is this will actually if you just play this thing hard for you know, 10 years, it'll be down to nothing. I don't got 10 years, I'll probably be dead in 10 years. So I'm just gonna sand it off here, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, other details, locking tuners, which I love. I kind of like the looks of old tuners, you know, but the practicality, I, I end up going with these all the time. Um, because, you know, the, the way the function is more important than the aesthetic. But I think they look fine, you know, from, from here they look kind of old schooly, but I do like old school looks. Uh, the rest, you know, that classic kind of harmony vibe to it. The uh, love these weird cupcake type uh, knobs that look totally vintage. Love your controls, just simple volume, tone, and uh, a switch right there. The, um, let's see, uh, radius is 12, um, frets are a medium jumbo, so they're, 
they're comfortable and they're good, you know, get a good bend. Uh, C profile neck, which is comfortable. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, the neck is maple, body is alder. 22 frets, scale length is 25. Um, and those are, I mean, that's kind of the basic details. The bridge is, is pretty cool. Um, it's, it's again, got that kind of old school vibe, but the intonation, let's see, I haven't tuned it. So let's, after I've been playing it, so. You know, given that I've been beating this thing like it owes me money, that's actually really probably in tune. I mean, pretty well, that's as good as you could expect. So I think they really kind of nailed it. It's light too. It's just a very comfortable little guitar. For the record, um, running into that valve train, we're mugging with a Royer, and I've got a modest little pedal board here, but you know, not a lot of stuff going on. You're really just hearing the guitar, and this is just the guitar straight in. Let me just play this thing a little bit and see what it does. This is not sustain. Man, it's an expressive guitar, and I don't know why I just feel like playing an E on this thing. I don't know why, but that seems to be the sweet spot. So in back of this thing, you've got a nice ergonomic belly cut right there, comfortable, kind of a telly style string through, cute little control. I, I like it, man. It's, it's like a, it's like a dirt bike, you know, <laughs> like, like you can just go out and run wild with this thing. And these pickups, I mean, I love them clean. But I love the way they take the dirt, man. What a fun guitar. So good on your harmony. I'm glad you brought the brand back and you actually improved it because what's the point in bringing it back if you're not going to make things even better. So good on you. To read the full written view, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, we had endless hours of guitar geekery. Non-stop. We'll make them, as our editor Sean says, make the most of your time wasting time. So stick around. Check out our site. Get the magazine sent to your home. This is John Bolger. Till next time.